my baby sister called me dad. I mean, this sounds like a wholesome one. Yeah. Could it be? Wish you would have started with this one, but <laughs> no, no. Oh, I, I no. prefer I, I prefer darkness to light in my in my <sighs> experience. That's fair. I don't like to start high and then end in like despair. Love- <laughs> like, oh, fuck really kills the retention rate on YouTube, though. <laughs> oh, does it? <laughs> no, I feel like the retention rate loves sad shit. They'd prefer we just. Oh, did sad oh yeah, shit. that's maybe true. That's maybe they true. dip out on the wholesome shit. They're like, "Fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah. Fuck your mental health. Like, I want you guys depressed as hell. <laughs> I want you guys to feel I how I help. feel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need help in that fucking department. But anyways. <laughs> title is my baby sister called me dad so i male 31 was 20 when my sister 11 was born uh no this is not millie bobby but um our mom wasn't in a good place physically or mentally and her father was a druggie so i took her in and have been raising her ever since took me so fucking long to get the millie bobby thing i didn't understand what you're talking about but the 11 (laughs) i got it oh okay i was just gonna (laughs) fucking let it slide I, I have no clue. I mean, because like, you, you mentioned Aubrey already. I might as well fucking, you know, go <laughs> That's off true. with it. Uh, guys, someone someone did comment in the Patreon. They're like, there was this one pun that you guys didn't acknowledge and they acknowledged me for it. There's at I'm least like, one every episode. I sneak them in as much as I can. Yeah, you whisper it you guys while we're notice. talking. <laughs> exactly. And honestly, it's a blessing yeah. that I don't realize some of the. I'm going to start making it obvious from now on. I mean, you can't. I hear it in the editing anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> I no, like sneaking them in. But anyways, <laughs> in certain ways, I have always seen her as a daughter. And I feel as though the love I have for her would be the love a father has for his kids. I mean, I watched her grow up and was there for every single milestone. Most would consider me to be my sister's dad. But my sister grew up with the knowledge I am her big brother. And the reason I take care of her is our mom and her dad can't take care of her the way they should. We are both sick. My sister has chronic asthma, and when sick, uh, and when sick, her asthma is worse. At like 3 a.m., I heard her wheezing and coughing in her sleep, and got her nebulizer to give her a breathing treatment. Um, and I had to wake her up to take it. She was half asleep, and when she finished, I told her she could go back to sleep. She mumbled, okay. Then, as I was leaving her room, she said, thank you, dad. It was quiet, but I heard it. I had a good slash, a good happy slash emotional cry, and it's getting me teary-eyed just thinking about it. Get therapy. And... (laughs) (laughs) If there's one thing we've learned from this episode... Yeah, don't fucking cry, you piece yeah, of you shit. You can't guys. cry. Yes, there's a happiness, actually. You need therapy. <laughs> you little bitch. I'm kidding. Hold it course. in. <laughs> that was almost Hold it in. I had to ruin <laughs> it. My bad. <laughs> no, there, it, well, there is an update that is a little bit more wholesome as well. Okay. And then ruin it I'll again. ruin it so at like, the end of that. Then. Yeah, let's, 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 let's fuck people's <laughs> psyche up in this episode. But after that, she went back to calling me by my first name. So I decided to take up advice from some comments. I told her that when half asleep, she called me dad, and she looked panicky and apologized. I told her she had no reason to apologize, and I actually wanted to talk to her about it. And I let her know if she wanted, if she wanted to, she could call me dad. But she never had to feel forced to call me dad, like I said, only if she wanted to. She started to cry, and she let me know there had been so many times she wanted to call me dad, and almost have, but stopped herself because I was her brother. I told her we both knew I'd never be just her brother. Plus, a dad isn't always someone who is biologically your father, but the person who raised you. And after that, we both cried. But the past few days, I've been dad. It's been amazing. Honestly, been amazing to hear. Like I said in my original post, I have always felt like a dad to her instead of a brother. So a much, much more wholesome ending. Yeah, Man, I feel she might you? actually need therapy. Though. <laughs> oh, for sure. That's Calling not a your joke. brother dad? <laughs> no, that's not, 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 not for that reason. That's not a joke? Oh, shit. <laughs> no. Not for that reason. Just it feels like uh, she has a lot of trauma from like her well, own yeah. biological her parents. Parents. Her yeah. parents yeah. could not take care of It's You got to imagine how bad of a state you got to be to just fully give up and let your 20-year-old uh, take care of your newborn. It's a big also, responsibility. can you imagine, you know, OP is just built different. A 20-year-old taking in a kid that's not theirs 
to be fair, is a huge ask. We don't know when he took care. He said he's now 30 something and she's now 11. So we don't know when along those timelines he took care of her. It's still a big ask. I agree, it's, but it, it, it is might have been later ask, yes. on. It seems, well, yeah. But even then, uh, I don't know. It's a just, big ask. I'm not downplaying yeah. it. I'm just saying, any, I'm just trying to clarify. Age, yeah, a big, yeah. big ask, yeah. Yeah. But it, you got to imagine, it sounds like it was early on. Probably. Because he was like, I've seen all the milestones. So yeah. I'm like, oh. Yeah, so, yeah. OP, kudos to you. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I hope both of you guys get therapy. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of trauma with y'all's mom. Uh, sounds like different dads. Uh, but, I mean, uh, not enough praise could be given to OP for doing what he's done and continues to do. I think being called dad is his praise. You know what I mean? That is. true. This is like. There is no higher praise. Yeah. Who he is. Uh, He's her dad and taking care of her. So yeah. You've been bestowed that title. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, unlike some people, you know, who don't step up for their kids. Aubrey. (laughs) (laughs) How's your daughter, Drake? (laughs) Also 11, wasn't she? (laughs) I think so. Jesus. Could be her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>